Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you and shall our days be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with the child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. This person, I'm going to pray for you because I see that whenever you have a great idea, a great idea that will have opened a very big door for you. Whenever you have like a very good proposal, a good plan, you calculate the plan, you are like, ah, this plan is going to change my life. It's going to make my next move to be so beautiful. Suddenly you see that the idea just disappeared and somebody else is using the idea. You know, you just started losing interest and you see somebody else not taking the idea and is not using the idea. This is a thief. This is a thief that keeps stealing from you. A thief that keeps stealing from you. You ask yourself, why is it that I see my idea? I see people using that same idea that I have. And even the one that is your own, that is not all those people, somebody just take it from somewhere, nowhere. And you that have the idea, you start losing interest. Have you, have you feel that before? If you are that person that felt that way, God led you here for me to pray for you. That satanic invader that keep evading your life to steal information, to steal good things, you know, sometimes idea in life can shoot somebody to a next level, can just shoot you up, like go up, up, up to the next level. And you know you put the idea in place, you are like, oh, this is what I want to do, this is what I want to do. I saw a young woman who, a young woman who said from, from any, I think from any hundred dollar, I don't know, hundred dollars, is it hundred dollar? Oh, hundred thousand uh, to hundred thousand uh, dollars now. And how did this, how did this happen? She said she always had this idea of having a family YouTube channel. A family media, not, not just YouTube, maybe Instagram, whatever it is that she had the interest. But because of the situation she was in, she never has the privilege to carry out that idea. And she also, whenever she says to people, she sees people taking the idea, using it, and they are using it to decorate their family. Their family is becoming okay. They are buying houses, cars, and all of that. The children are living well. He, she's looking at them like, this is my idea. A day came and she had to tell herself, no, I will not allow anyone to steal my idea. Let me also do it. Even if somebody steals the idea and do it, it's okay if the person does not steal it with evil intention. You too can still do your own and you will still have good thing out of it. Hallelujah. Because the Bible said the works of our hands is what it will bless. We are not going to lie down on our bed and money will start falling from the ceiling. It's not going to be possible. It's falling from the roof. So it is what we do that God will not bless. So your idea can be a big blessing. Your idea can be a big blessing that will make you and your family to expand. You understand me? So I will pray for you, child of God. Anything that stands as a big thief that is stealing your idea, after they have stolen your idea, they will wipe it away from your heart not to be able to pursue their dream. I pray. Any power that is stealing the idea of your greatness, by the power in the name of Yeshua, let them restore your idea and let them scatter in the name of Jesus. Let those powers scatter in the name of Jesus. Your idea will not be stealing anymore. It will not be stolen anymore. Go and be successful through that idea. Go and accept through uh, uh, do through that idea in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It is well with you. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.